Hey guys, my name is Francis Capola and in this video I will be talking about bass drum beaters. First, let's roll the intro! Bass drum beaters. Well, let's get into the topic that I don't see many drummers talking about. But first, let me tell you that this video was only possible because I have drummer friends who lent me some of their personal beaters that you can see in this video. Please check out their social media pages whose links are also in the video description. In this video, I'm going to talk about 11 different bass drum beaters and also the bass drum beater weights and all that I learned during this video. Well, I'll talk about each beater separately, but now I want to talk about the main topics. So let's talk about weights. I realize that trick drum beaters are the lightest on the market. They only weigh 65 grams or 2.29 ounces. It's not fair to compare the lightest beaters on the market with one of the heaviest. So if I compare the Pearl B300 Oud Bass Drum Beater with this one, with the Tama Cobra Beater CB900, I may say that it's almost the same feeling. And of course, it sounds different, but we'll talk about the sound of the beaters next. Still about the weight, we need to talk about these little things, the Bass Drum Beater weights. Well, they only weigh 0.45 ounces or 13 grams. And I have to say is, please, just throw it away, okay? You don't need more things on your bass drum pedal, okay? You have coils, you have the weight of the beater, you have the pedal adjustments, and that's more than enough to adjust the perfect balance on your pedal. I tested this bass drum beater weight to play around 200 BPMs, playing 18 notes, 60 notes with and without the bass drum beater weight. And what I have to say is, it gets difficult to play with the bass drum beater weight, so it's better to have as less things as possible and adjust the pedal with the features you have, the spring and all the other features of the pedal. That's more than enough. Think about the weight of each drum beater. So first is the Sony Hammer Extension Beater from Axis, which weighs 126 grams or 4.45 ounces. Now the Charzi Copito, 115 grams or 4.05 ounces. Now the Tama Drum Speed Cobra 300 is this one, 98 grams or 3.45 ounces. Now the Tama Dyna Beater, which weighs 93 grams or 3.3 ounces. Now the Pearl B 300W, 91 grams or 3.20 ounces. The Cobra Beater is this one, which weighs 89 grams or 3.15 ounces. The Marksman Beater from Axis, 87 grams, 3.1 ounces. The Pearl DB100 Double Beater, 85 grams and 3 ounces. The Soft Sound Beaters from Tama Drums, 82 grams or 2.9 ounces. The Sonar SCH28 Beater, 76 grams, 2.7 ounces. And finally, the Trick Bass Drum Beater, 65 grams. And if you check the website, it says 79, but I wait and it's 65 grams or 2.25 ounces. And finally, well, the Bass Drum Beater weight, which is only 30 grams. Shape. This is just based on my opinion and the true function of the bass drum, of course. We want to place the microphone in a certain place that captures its sounds well. If the shape of the beater is cylindrical, oval, square, rectangular, I don't think that will have much of an impact. Just play with something that make you feel great. So it doesn't matter if the shape is like this, like this, or like the cover, like this. Let's talk about the feel. 
Practically all the beaters that are not heavy have the same performance, that's what I learned playing in this video. As we already have an idea of the weight, I can say that the beaters that weigh 65 grams and up to 100 grams are easy to control and by adjusting the spring and the pedal angle you can achieve a perfect balance. The adjustment of the beaters, that's a very interesting and very important feature. It's not rocket science that if you have a heavier beater, you need to push more for the beater to hit the bass drum. Okay, additionally, you can increase the spring tension so it returns faster to the starting position. However, you can have exactly the same scenario with the same speed with less spring tension and applying less force into the pedal. As we know, the shin muscles are very small and difficult to develop. So the less force we apply the pedal, the better for us. Therefore, it is important to choose beaters that are as light as possible. That's exactly what I learned in this video. And now let's take a look at the length of the beaters. Well, the vast majority of the beaters are between 15 and 80 centimeters, okay? I measure all of them and we can place them on a paddle at the height at 16 or 10 centimeters. But how do I choose how high I place the bass drum beaters? You know this object, right? Well, for those who don't know, this is an analog metronome. Well, for those who use this object, you know that if you want to increase the BPM, we lower the weight on the pendulum. And if you want to reduce the BPM, we raise the weight on the pendulum. And that's exactly the basic strategy that we should use on our bass drum beaters. So what we need to do is to find the best spot to apply the less force as possible for the beater to reach the bass drum head. I use my beater at 10.5 centimeters above the pedal's mounting point. So now it's time to find out what's your best height to set up your bass drum beaters. And please let me know in the comment section. Now that we talk about the shape, the weight, the feel, the height, let's talk about the material surface. How many types of surface we have? Foam, felt, uh, I don't have any of rubber. I also found beaters of wool and flannel. So let me organize these materials of the beaters in order of stiffness. So I think the first one is wood, okay? And then plastic. I don't have any of rubber. Felt, most of the beaters are made with felt. Flannel, wool, and finally foam. Wood. If you want a really punchy sound, heavy feel, more volume and at the same time change the bass drum head more frequently, this is the type of material you should choose to play. Plastic, it's the kind of the same feel but with less volume and less wear of your drum head. These ones are my favorite plastic. And so on. If you want to play fast, if you want to have a punchy sound, always choose hard materials for your bass drum beater. If you play some kind of indie rock, jazz, soul, or you don't want to increase the volume of the bass drum, just choose felt or anything that feels comfortable for you. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the sound of each beater and at the end I'm going to give you my opinion on each one of them.
the Sonic Hammer Extension Beater from Axis. I don't like anything in this best drum beater. The weight, it's the, the heaviest best drum beater. And while I was playing, this little piece of metal was touching my foot and it hurts me. So I don't really like anything in this, in this best drum beater. I don't have very much to say. It's like, just, I don't recommend this one. Well, the second one is Chargi Copito Heavy Beaters. They weigh 150 grams or 4.05 ounces. And I find this one hard to control. And because of the weight, it gives me some confidence playing. I like the, the design, but also this bolt right here could reach your foot. So it's not also a good beater and that's maybe because Chaji Copito changed this beater and it's not available on their website. Okay, now the Thomas Speed Cobra 300. Well, this starts to get comfortable. So it's 98 grams. Honestly, I don't feel uh, anything positive or negative about this beater. It's, it's a bit heavier for me, but I like everything, it's not, you can adjust it, but that's okay. So now the Dyna Beater, well, I was really curious about this Dyna Beater and once I saw the, the Dyna Sync pedal and I realized they developed this beater with this old school look, uh, I was curious about how they sound. Well, yeah, it's made of felt, but it's very, very rigid. And I think Tama developed it this way because everything on this pedal is so rigid that this beater gives some softness to the pedal. I think that's, that was the idea. Well, I'm pretty much practicing with them on my Dyna thing at home and I don't have very much to say. It's not good, it's not bad, uh, it's the same, I'm neutral about this, about this beater too. B300W, uh, it weighs 91 grams, it's made of wood. The sound, well, I don't know why, but isn't my favorite according to, to the sound in this best drum. Well, the beater balance is good, but it's, on, in my opinion, very big. It's not just my style, but it's a good beater. Okay, so now the cover beater. 89 grams. Well, this is by far my favorite beater from Tama. Uh, I love the design. Uh, I love the way it adjusts. I feel great playing with them. I use this one on my Speed Cobra. If you like uh, Tama products, this one is my favorite beater, also because it lasts longer than the, the one that comes in the Speed Cobra. Okay, so now the Marksman Beater from Axis. I don't know if Axis is still selling this beater, because I had a problem. You see, the size of this beater, of this head, it's like half of the size of any traditional beater. So, like this one, okay? But what I realize is, when you push it to hit the best room head, it looks like you need to push a little bit more to reach the bathroom head. So it was very difficult to control for me. Of course, I needed to adjust the bathroom pedal. I know, I know. But I don't like, I really don't like anything in this beater. Okay, so now is the Pearl DB100 double beater. Fell from one side, plastic from another. It's a good beater. I really like this one. Good weight, easy to control. It's a good one. It's a good one. I really enjoy this Pearl Beater. Now, and according to the weight, the soft sound beaters. Well, I have a video that you can see here, okay? Just talking about this beater. They are totally different from all the other ones, so watch this video and I hope it makes everything clear about these beaters. Now the Sonar SCH28 beater, 76 grams or 2.7 ounces. Well, 
I enjoy also this beater. It's the same, felt from one side, plastic from another, so it's very easy to, to change it. It's a good weight, easy to control, and I cannot say anything bad about it because I enjoy everything in this one. The last, but of course not the least, uh, the Trick Drum Beater. It's by far my favorite bass drum beater. The weight is unbelievable, it's just 65 grams. I love the sound, it's really easy to control and I'm so sorry I did discover this sooner. To finish, like I said in the beginning, the bass drum beater weights. I don't see any function for this, so please don't waste your time putting these on your pedal and period, okay? No matter what drummers or drum teachers told you, the heavier the beaters, the more you have to push to hit the bass drum head. So it's fundamental to have the lightest beaters as possible, okay? And let's take a look at the latest bass drum beaters that some brands recently developed for their bass drum pedals. So Pearl just released a new bass drum pedal in collaboration with George Collius and this is the bass drum beater. Chargi Copito, known as maybe the best pedal manufacturers on the market, have these very light beaters. And finally, Trick then have these beaters that are the lightest on the market. So they all look pretty similar, right? and they all are developed for speed and for control. They all have low weights, and like I said, I'm not reinventing the wheel. We are here just analyzing some of the latest products that are on the market and what their target is and what their design is. And this takes us to this bitter shape that weighed from 65 to 70 grams and all these new pedals have. So if I have to summarize everything in one sentence, all the beaters I tried on this video are good, except the ones from Axis that I don't feel comfortable playing. I realized that the weight is very important for control and speed, as well as their surface material and how high you place the beater on your pedal. I hope this helped clarify any doubts you might have regarding choosing beaters and also help you better adjust your best drum beaters. Just please just don't forget to subscribe and if you want some exclusive content I have it on my Patreon account. I have lots of songs that you can download, just the drums, the strings, the bass, the vocals and also you can download MIDI, WAV files and all the stems from all these songs that I'm playing. Thank you so much for watching and for making it this far and see you next time. Bye guys.